Hi everyone, Budget Stark here. Thanks again for tuning in. We are checking out this Ultron Mark 1, and it has suddenly become one of my favourite pieces that Hot Toys have made so far. The reason for that, it is unbelievably detailed with a decent amount of articulation for something which may even look like a statue to a lot of people. Very quickly show you the box, very straightforward standard, nothing too funky about that. You have the standard Age of Ultron base, you get the post that holds up the figure, you also have this sentry or the Iron Legion I would say, which is damage and the head can come off, um, the arms are articulated, have a little bit of movement. You get this little pair of tweezers, and I'll show you exactly what that's for a little bit later and you get the instructions manual, make sure you read through that. But the most impressive thing about this figure is the phenomenal detailing that Hot Toys have done. Great work to JC Hung, Howard and their team of designers R&D because number one, this is a unique piece. There will never be a repaint or another version of this. The detailing, sculpt, paint app is just Unbelievable what they've done here. Just to show you this little piece at the top, this little green sort of chip, computer chip area, comes off and that's where you put in the batteries. The eyes light up and the chest lights up on a hidden panel also. Now the body is completely asymmetrical, which means if you're talking about the production of this, the molds, etc., there has to be manufactured on one side and the other, and on top of that it has different parts of articulation depending on which body parts. So that's a little bit unusual and different also. There are a number of pistons that move, there are some stationary pistons that the articulation moves around, there's some ankle pivots, I'll show you some of those a little bit later, but I wanted to show you guys the wiring, the pistons, the paint app, just an absolutely amazing piece by Hot Toys, and I would say probably one of the best figures that they've done from the Age of Ultron line. And I'll show you the back of this before quickly showing you some of the articulation points, because it is a bit different. When I first saw this at the exhibitions, I was really blown away by the level of detailing and if I remember the first time it was shown was at Heisen Place in 2015 at the Age of Ultron exhibition and to see this from the exhibition to actually how the final figure looks is just great work they've kept the details the paint app because it's kind of a battle damage asymmetrical look, if you, by the way, you do accidentally break something or a wire comes loose because you've manhandled it a little bit, don't worry, no one's gonna know. I don't think you will know or remember exactly what wire or piston, etc., how it should look. But anyway, that's the complete front view and the back view. I will now show you some of the points how it articulates and why it's a little bit different to other figures that Hot Toys done. And as I said, because this is a unique piece, this will never be repainted or redone. And I felt was an, a really good scene in the film when they first introduced Ultron and how he started to become into the, the picture. So let's check out some of the movements of this because it's pretty articulated for something that is extremely delicate. I'm going to start from the head and work downwards. So you get a bit of neck pivot either side, you get the turn, you can go either side, but you must be very careful of the wire at the back which links up to the back section. So that is connected and if you please be careful not to snag that. But like I said, you've got some lift upwards, downwards and side to side. The neck joint I don't think it moves. But if you move across and downwards, you've got the arm which rotates and pivots like this. You've got the usual rotation, but again, you've got the wire that's connected at the back. So be careful when pivoting that. 
and there are loose bits of wire everywhere. That's one thing you should note. There's whenever you're pivoting or posing this up, just be wary not to break any wires because, like I said, now if you turn this, there's a there's a rubber sort of wire here. There's an actual wire here. The wrist peg can kind of move a little bit. Fingers are articulated and can swivel. But again, because there's wires connected, be careful not to damage that here. And it's got a 90 degree elbow bend, which is nice. Moving across to the handless bend, again, this can rotate all the way 180 degrees, but wires at the back here. Elbow bend, so you can do a lot with the pose option here. And again, a 90 degree elbow bend also. Now here is where it gets quite funky. It has working pistons that move here. However, they're not kind of fully working pistons that you expect, so you have some movement on a dip here, which is quite a lot. And left to right as well, you get a little shift. And you can see the pistons here, here, and here moving as we twist. Now, if you caught something in the back here, there's actually a piston that comes out, which is here. It can actually fall out, which is where it has done. That just pops back in. And there actually is part of the instructions that if this does come out, you can use the tweezers to put back in or just put back in as I showed you. So this is what it's for. I actually use it also for the battery to put it into the back. So this piston will move. Can you see how it moves like this as it goes from side to side? I can see why they didn't make it as stable because that would snap very, very easily if it does. And in instructions, it specifically says if this piston comes out, just reposition it back in. You can see how much tension there is if it was attached. So you can move it to the other side. And when you dip it, it may well come out like that. If you, like I said, if you're dipping downwards, there's no way that they can make this completely retract all the way and dip backwards without it being damaged. So I think it's, see that? It's, it's very, very deep into the, this section of the piston. So you've got a lot of movement around the waist for something which looks so hollow and fragile. Then moving down to this leg here, it's like a normal leg, but it doesn't have a ball joint on this section, so it's just a front and back mo movement. The knee is 90 degree roughly, and you get some ankle movement with Shartimus. You listen to this, side to side ankle pivots, and that is on both. Ankle pivot on this side and that side, and the toe moves as well. Now this has a mid-thigh twist, here and here. So a lot of people have asked if you can get that sort of gaunty, uh, as if you've broken your leg look when he comes into the film. Yes, you can achieve that by posing up this leg and it's on a slight, it's on a ball joint which does have a little bit of pivot. Hopefully you can see that move slightly. It doesn't move a lot, just a little bit. And because you can bend this either way, Again, be careful of these wires that are connected. You can move that as so with the 90 degree bend on the knee. So a really nice overall articulation. Now, to, to just show you the back of this, there's not much else I think that can be moved or articulated. I don't think I'll spend a lot more time playing with this, but you can see there's loose bits of wire like this one. When I first got this, I thought it broken off or snapped off but it's actually how it's meant to be so just be careful when you are playing about with this you will have quite a bit of fun posing it up that's pretty much in terms of articulation and I'm extremely happy to have this in my collection to pose up with the rest of the Iron Man and the Age of Ultron definitely one of my favorite pieces now purely because of how it looks Really nice piece of Hot Toys, great job. And the development R&D and actually making this the final figure. So thanks very much Hot Toys for making this. That's all I wanted to show you guys. Hope you enjoyed this quick video. Thanks for watching and catch you all at the next video.